Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nikki. Today we're going to cover the heartbreaking case of Serenity Denard. Serenity Denard was actually living in a children's home in Rockerville, South Dakota. Uh, she had been living in the home since July of 2018 um, due to some behavioral problems. Uh, she actually went missing on February 3rd of 2019. Serenity had a tumultuous short life to say the least. She was actually born to parents that were um, drug addicted and were trying to get their life back on track which that did not happen and unfortunately Serenity ended up in the system so to speak. She was passed around to 12 different children's homes, foster homes before she was four years old. That caused a lot of damage to Serenity. She actually ended up being diagnosed with um, a few behavior problems. And this is why she ended up in this home. Uh, it's a very, very sad case. So I hope you would join me in going over this case. Um, it's extremely sad. Um, I have some maps we're going to go over. I also have an interview with her father. So let's just check it out. Go through it. I'm curious of what you think happened to Serenity when we get done. Or if you've heard about this case, let me know in the comments. Um, there are police officers, law enforcement that believe that Serenity is somewhere in the forest. Her actual uh, adoptive father believes that same thing but on the other hand her other family members extended family members and other people do believe that there's a great possibility that serenity may have been kidnapped and i definitely believe that there is a possibility of that so i want to go over the map that i made off of google maps to show you guys where this children's home was. It is way, way, way out uh, in the middle of nowhere. I'm not really sure why. I guess it's probably calming and soothing for the people. Probably has some good, um, you know, environment. Um, you'll see the Children's Home Society that is right there. And this is where Serenity had spent almost a year and was about to be released back to her home uh, with her father when one day look at this this is crazy yeah why look at all this and all this has been searched it has been searched by cadaver dogs by um, just regular scent dogs they've done thermal um, the thermal cameras they've done drones they've had thousands of people out there searching and they literally have found not a sign of serenity now mind you she's very small girl i mean fairly small girl and where she ends up is down there right there by the end on rockerville road where in the world could she have gone you know someone did suggest that maybe she could have went to the fire station um, you know, who knows, but that's where she was last seen, right there at the edge of the Rockerville uh, Road, the exit. She really took off like a, just, <laughs> she just took off, bless her heart, um, and possibly ended up on the other side of that road. But then, you know, she could be anywhere at the other side of the road, possibly in those forests, but also she could be, you know, anywhere in those forests sadly um, like I said they have really done a tremendous amount of searching for her and I wanted to show you also the video of her dad um, he is heartbroken this is her adopted dad um, the person that has cu had custody um, of her since she was four years old now, as I said before, Serenity had a lot of behavioral problems. She had, you know, the uh, inability to actually uh, attach uh, to people. She wasn't be able to 
form those bonds with people, which tends to happen uh, with children um, that end up being passed around, unfortunately, and unable to form bonds. That happens a lot of times. It's so sad. It's seriously sad. The more that I, I talk about it, the sadder that I get um, about this poor thing. But I will have to say, I do have to give these parents some kudos, the adoptive parents, because she apparently was quite a handful, and at least they were trying. Um, now, on the other hand, the, you know, state having custody of her and letting this happen to her, now that's another story. So let's go ahead and let's watch Serenity's adoptive dad interview. I, she ran away into the hills. And I feel that she liked to watch people search for her. And then they started getting closer and closer. And I think she just went farther into the woods and just got lost, is my honest opinion. The idea that somebody took Serenity, I, um, as a parent, I just, I, I, I can't think that. I, I would hate to think that somebody took her and is harming her. I that's I just cannot take that answer. That that's not what happened. I can't I can't think that that somebody is harming her every day. That no. Super sad. Bless his heart. Um, I I totally believe everything he's saying. I also have this great. Um, map of Serenity's last known moments that I got off of a website that I'll leave the link down to it below. This is a pretty interesting little map. Uh, Serenity first, number one, says Serenity um, exits the gym building at the children's home unattended around 11 a.m. on Sunday, February 3rd, 2019 after a staff member inside are distracted by another child. All she was dressed in was a long sleeve shirt, jeans, and snow boots. That's so sad. Serenity is believed to have headed north on the path within the complex. So we look at that. At the same time, a woman and her granddaughter drop off a child at the northern entrance of the office. So right there. Um, uh, they begin to drive away, and they both see Serenity running alone across the parking lot, and they recognize that she is a resident who is likely running away. Well, that's very, very awesome. It's too bad, though, that they did not stop and get the child. They continue to watch as Serenity stumbles and falls at the cattle guard just short of the Rockerville Road. The grandmother reverses the car back to the main building and gets out and rings the doorbell to alert the staff of a runaway. The granddaughter stays in the car watching Serenity. Now at a walking pace, Serenity heads north on Rockerville Road at a spot about 50 yards north of the main entrance. The granddaughter loses sight of Serenity due to the trees and topography. Uh, it was the last no sighting of Serenity, and she has been missing ever since. Really super sad, just one of the saddest. Within three or four minutes of losing sight of Serenity, the grandmother and grand granddaughter drive down to the children's home path and turn onto Rockerville Road to look for Serenity. Oh, I didn't realize that. Heading north, they drive up the road and return to the children's home more than once, and they do not see Serenity or any other vehicles or people. Meanwhile, the children's home staff begin to search on foot in vehicles and do not see Serenity. After one hour and 20 minutes uh, being uh, alerted to the runaway, children's home staff place their first 911 call, kicking off a year-long search, well, now a year and a half, investigation that they have turned up nothing. Oh my gosh. They have really, really, really... I'll show you this map too. Wow, they really have been searching. Oh my gosh. The, the, this map right here, uh, it shows um, the lines where people and dogs have searched for Serenity. So they've really searched, my gosh, all over. That is so sad. So they did try to catch her. And it's very likely that she ran off and was hiding 
and um, you know waiting to see you know if somebody would catch her um, then sadly guess what happens a winter storm a really bad winter storm comes through right through and buries them in snow the next day that night I believe that she left um, so then they begin, you know, searching with cadaver dogs and all kinds of things. Very, very, very heartbreaking. Um, Chad and Cassandra Denard are her adoptive parents. And, you know, they, um, you know, everybody now is just looking for serenity. They have no idea. Now, there's a possibility somebody could have snatched her up. A very good possibility. But if you see out there how remote it is out there, it is ridiculously remote. I mean, I highly doubt that there's a lot of traffic, probably no foot traffic whatsoever, and probably very little vehicle traffic. Uh, the fact that she was dressed in such little clothing and then the snowstorm came. The only thing that is so creepy is they have, they just haven't found not one shred of clothing. They haven't found one shred of evidence that she was, um, you know, that she died out there uh, due to elements. But then they also haven't found one shred of evidence that she has been taken. I mean, sure, somebody could have, you know, grabbed her in the woods and then took her. I don't, I really don't know. Um you know there's always a possibility because you don't have any kind of evidence whatsoever you know so i i really feel this is this this case just broke my heart it was just mind-blowing you know they the fact and and it's amazing that the the um they did go well there's great information on this website and I'm going to link all this stuff down there. And I, if you think she was kidnapped, holler at me. Let me know. Drop that down in the comments. You know, Serenity is, a, a, you know, a child. We all need to be looking, you know, out for our children. Now, is there a lawsuit against the children's home? I do not know. But I do know that they are not commenting much on this case. Uh, at all um, I probably I would assume also that maybe there is some sort of um, you know lawsuit going on but I didn't go that direction at this moment for this video I just wanted to get Serenity's name out there I wanted to go over this case with y'all it's so 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 sad and um, they are very um, intent on finding her these are some sweet, sweet pictures of, um, I've got to share these pictures of his, her father. Um, I don't believe any, he is involved whatsoever in this. He absolutely, I think these people are saints, um, that personally, that's just me, you know, some other people, um, may say other things, but personally, I think that when you take a child on with these kind of disabilities, with these kind of behavior problems, uh, that you're saying honestly because children are hard to raise already um, not to mention when they have especially these kind of disorders where they cannot bond with anyone so let's go over bless her heart I, this this case really really broke my heart it really did from the beginning ever since I've ever and I just assume maybe she would be found you know could she be kidnapped could she be sex trafficked here we go with this sex trafficking possibly possibly but she could also possibly and then all right I don't want to get too morbid but she could also have um, animals there you know animals out there um, I honestly believe that one day somebody will be out there and they'll find something um, of hers but that's just my opinion let's go over it serenity what missing on February uh, 3rd of 2019, she was nine years old, and she was a gorgeous little girl, blonde hair, and a blue eyes, and she's just a, a spicy little girl from Rockerville, uh, North Dakota, and we would love to see her come home, or I would love to see a resolution of this case, 
um, to get her home one way or another so thanks y'all for watching this video um, I'll be back soon I'm gonna be doing a live stream again soon I enjoyed um, hanging out with y'all and spending time with y'all that was really really fun so I'll be doing another live stream really really soon and also welcome to my new subscribers I appreciate it and I'll be working on uh, content throughout the next few weeks and y'all be safe out there and take care